The fourth season of The Handmaid's Tale is over, and it left viewers with a devastating cliffhanger, many loose ends waiting to be tied up. And today, we are going to reflect upon June and where her journey will take her, possible plot lines for her, including the one in which she goes undercover for various reasons. We're not quite sure, but we will state some of the facts and connect the dots regarding her characters and what comes next for her. Run. Season 4 Finale It seems like now that June escaped to Canada, reuniting with Luke and Moira with the Waterfords behind bars, things would settle down. However, June had other plans. She threw her freedom, friends and family aside, to make good on her personal need for vengeance, becoming somewhat consumed by it. After she discovers that Fred will be pardoned for his crimes in exchange for his testimony, June decides that the Canadian government does not have the best interest in Gillian's victims at heart. She takes matters into her own hands, turning to her erstwhile lover Nick and the morally dubious Commander Lawrence. June didn't work alone. She had Tuello escort Fred out of Canada and offered him a choice, a gun or a whistle, with Fred opting for the latter, immediately regretting it. Using their bare hands and whatever they could find in the woods, June led the other women in patricicution, a barbaric ritual, a brutal end for Fred, but also a fitting one, according to many fans of the series. The next morning, Luke finds bloody June cradling her baby daughter at home with no knowledge of what she has done, and his horrified expression is what gets June to talk. She asks for five minutes with her baby, after which she will go. However, where will she go after this? Will she flee Canada and return to Gilead? Will she stay and be prosecuted? As with many other episode endings, this one left us with a lot of questions. Many possible equations in the future for most of the characters of the series, many unknown details and outcomes on the table, many of which will probably be answered in the fifth season of the show. And while there's no denying that June deserved justice, many have expressed horror at the way she determined to obtain it. Now she has metaphorically and literally blood on her hands. She's a different woman now. It's that paradox of revenge, a product of Gilead in the making for many years now. <laughs> Will June leave Canada? When Luke walks in on June and Nicole, it seems like the former is gearing up to say goodbye to them both forever. We still don't know if she's going to live, it feels like she has to. In that dramatic moment, we have about five minutes off from her reckoning, but Luke just walked in and considering that he told her that he will love her no matter what she suggests otherwise, giving June yet another option for her twisted future before her. At this moment, a very dramatic one, she has been up all night and this horrible thing happened, so it could be yet another fraught moment. So the real question is whether June feels like she's beyond repair and that there's no turning back for her, breaking the marriage in the process and her role as a mother, will she feel the same way the next morning? We will never know until the next morning comes in the upcoming fifth season, a season in which it seems like June never really left Gilead. It still burns bright in her brain and her heart, being controlled by its vicious regime, despite all the distance she has put between herself and Gilead. Miller had a darkly hint about June and her surrounding for the fifth season, saying that it will be, quote, Sophie's choice, the series, in that you are moving on with someone who has made these terrible choices. However, unlike a movie version, we now know what her choices were, and we are in pain and her trauma. This is the American story. Does she swap back to normal, or does she have to move on into something new? This is the place where June finds herself right now. She has done a terrible thing, or what feels like is irredeemable. Thus, she has to decide that sometimes you not only have to sacrifice part of your life to succeed in your decisions, but also you have to sacrifice your whole life to make the world a better place for the next generation. The fifth season will show the long fight of keeping your energy, enthusiasm, sanity, all of those things, while trying to fight for something that you may never see the end of, hoping for your children or her children's children to have a better future in the end. Just give me five minutes, okay? Just give me five minutes. June could go undercover. June became separated from her family when Gilead first went into power forcing her to become a handmaid in the patriarchal state. There, she spent seven years working in the Waterford household with the duty of carrying her child. 
Throughout her time at Gilead, she made multiple attempts to escape, but was often caught and brutally punished. In the fourth season, she finally took her first steps as a free woman in Canada as her attempt proved successful, and she finally reunited with her loved ones. Fred and Serena were also in the country, but were in custody for their crimes. After June gave an emotional and detailed witness testimony for the trauma she suffered under their ruling, she learned that Fred would receive immunity, with him in return giving the authorities inside information about Gilead, a decision by the Canadian government that left June filled with rage. She was able to come up with a ploy to return him to Gilead for the release of women who worked for the resistance. Thus, Fred, instead of arriving in Geneva, was returned to the state that he betrayed for trial, a place where he would undoubtedly be sentenced to death. However, a shocking turn of events saw Fred drop off at No Man's Land, where June and a handful of ex-handmaids descended from the darkness. They chased him and beat him to death, hanging his headless corpse on the wall where he sent many to die, mailing his fingers to Serena in the process. We talked about the last scenes in which we saw June cradling her baby and the changes her character's mental state has suffered because of the things she has done in anger for vengeance. So, in the upcoming season, we should expect to see what June has become and what sort of a target is on her now. Because once you do vengeance like that on the other side, then it's the other side's turn to turn and have their timing of eliminating her, thus making her go deep into cover. Many fans were left wondering where June was planning to go when she spoke to Luke about her wanting to have five more minutes before she leaves, yet another hint of her going undercover. This could also prove to be the best bet she has, as Gilead is very powerful. This and her murder on one of its establishers, the show could see her face brutal punishment for what she's done, although she lived in Canada. When June testifies, we see her not allowing for the anger to take over, remaining calm, cool, and collected. And the series decided to do this part in this manner as this was a rehearsing thing from June's side, knowing for a long time what she has to do to get things right, planned many years in advance. However, nothing goes as planned, and June decides to put it all on herself and do what has to be done. This also shows that when you get the thing you've been fighting for, it just reveals that you have more things to fight for. Thus, the series, which has been talking a lot about heroes, might turn to talk about people more, giving the character of June a more villainous ending, a different side of her, which is yet to be shown in the series. Run. On a related note, tell us down in the comments below what are your thoughts on June's future endeavors and the entire fifth season as a whole. And also, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon if you'd like to see more videos like this in the future. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time.